The park is often described as a lot of dog in a small space. These sturdy, compact dogs are part of the AKC's toy group and are known as the clowns of the canine world because they have a great sense of humor and like to show it off. Even though these are purebred dogs, you may still find them in care of shelters or rescue groups, so remember to adopt. Originally bred to be lap dogs, pugs thrive on human companionship. They're highly sensitive, and though they can make for great apartment pets, they will not appreciate being left home alone for long hours of the day. Although these pups have a stubborn side, especially when it comes to house training, they're playful, affectionate dogs who will get along well with even no whispered parents. If you're looking for a loving, easygoing pal, this may be the breed for you. Pugs typically weigh between 14 to 18 pounds. Generally, they are 10 to 14 inches tall at the shoulder. Don't expect the pug to hunt, guard, or retrieve. Pugs were bred to be companions, and that's exactly what they do best. The pug craves affection and your lap, and is very unhappy if his devotion isn't reciprocated. He tends to be a sedentary dog, content to sit in your lap as you read a book or watch a movie. This doesn't mean the pug is a stick in the mud, as the French say it au contraire. He is a playful, comical dog that enjoys living it up and delights his owner with silly antics. Temperament doesn't happen in a vacuum. It's affected by a number of factors including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be helped by them. Choose the middle of the road puppy, not the one who's beating up his litter mates or the one who's hiding in a corner. Always try to meet at least one of the parents, usually the mother is the one who's available, to ensure that they have nice temperaments that you're comfortable with. Meeting siblings or other relatives of the parents is also helpful for evaluating what a puppy will be like when he grows up. Like every other dog, the pug needs early socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young. Socialization helps ensure that your pug puppy grows up to be a well-rounded dog. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. Pugs are generally healthy, but like all breeds are prone to certain health conditions. While not all pugs will get any or all of these diseases, it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. If you're buying a puppy, find a good breeder who will show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents. Health clearances prove that the dog's been tested for and cleared of a particular condition. Although playful and rambunctious, the pug is a low-maintenance companion, making it ideal for older owners. Because they are a small, quiet breed and are relatively inactive and indoors, they're a good choice for apartment dwellers as well. Their compact package belies a great deal of energy, so expect to be entertained with some goofy antics if your pug doesn't get a walk or some playtime. They're sensitive to heat and humidity, however, so if you live in a hot or humid environment, be sure your pug doesn't spend too much time outside. Light sleepers may also want to invest in a pair of earplugs because pugs are prone to snore. How much your doll dog eats depends on its size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Dogs are individuals, and just like people, they don't all need the same amount of food. It almost goes without saying that a highly active dog will need more than a couch potato dog. The quality of the dog food you buy also makes a huge difference. The better the dog food, the fur it will go towards nourishing your dog, and the less of it you need to shake into your dog's bowl. The recommended daily amount for this particular breed is half to one full cup of high quality dry food a day, preferably divided into two meals. While the pug's first love is human attention, his second love is food. These dogs love to eat. This, combined with their small stature, puts them at high risk for obesity. As a pug owner, you must show great restraint. Do not indulge him with food. Feed appropriate portions, limit treats, and encourage exercise. Even though the coats are short, pugs are double-coated breed. Pugs are typically fawn-colored or black. The fawn color can have different tints, such as apricot or silver, and all pugs have a short, flat, black muzzle. The coat is short and smooth, but don't be deceived. Pugs shed crazily, especially in the summer. The wise pug owner accepts this, adjusts her wardrobe accordingly, wearing light-colored clothing that better hides hair. Following that, regular brushing and bathing helps keep the coat in good condition and shedding to a minimum. A monthly bath is sufficient, though some owners tend to bathe their pugs more. The pug's small size is handy. You can drop him right in the kitchen sink for all he cares. Begin accustoming your pug to being brushed and examined when he's a puppy. Handle his paws frequently as dogs are usually touchy about their feet and look inside his mouth. Make grooming a positive experience filled with praise and rewards and you'll lay the groundwork for easy veterinary exams and other handlings when he's an adult. 
Pugs love kids. Though small, the pug is not delicate like some toy breeds, so it's a good breed choice for families with children. However, children who want an active pet to retrieve balls or play soccer will be disappointed with a pug. As with every other breed, you should always teach children how to approach and touch dogs and always supervise any interaction between dogs and young children to prevent any biting or ear or tail pulling on part of either party. Teach your child never to approach any dog while he's eating or sleeping or to try to take the dog's food away. No dog, no matter how friendly, should ever be left unsupervised with a child. When it comes to other animals, properly trained and socialized, the pug enjoys the companionship with dogs and can be trusted with cats, rabbits, and also other animals. Alright guys, what do you think about the pug? Tell me down in the comments. 